The Idol and the Whale Among the trees of Kamakura near Kyoto in Japan, there sits a great bronze idol of a forgotten god. The idol is 57 feet high and 97 feet around. His face is 8 feet long and his thumbs are 3 feet thick. The idol sits and smiles gently to himself as though he is remembering the fine days of the Middle Ages when Kamakura was a capital city and he lived in a temple instead of under the trees. In the sea near Kamakura, in those days when Kamakura was a great capital, there lived a huge whale. The whale was bigger than all the other whales and all the other sea creatures. He was the biggest thing in the sea. Other creatures might have been more beautiful or more clever or more useful, but no one was as big as the whale. And this made him feel that he was the king of all the other water creatures. One day, some fishermen were gossiping about the big statue in Kamakura. They spoke of the scores of pilgrims who came to see the idol, which was the biggest thing in the world. A little busybody of a fish heard this and told the whale. At first the whale roared with laughter. He laughed so much that he made several tidal waves. Nothing could be as big as he was. But he soon became very jealous. All the pilgrims should come to see him. He brooded. He sulked. He began to think that the idol was really much bigger than he was. He dashed about the sea blowing water spouts through his blowhole until all the other creatures became dizzy. An elderly shark came up to the whale to find out what the matter was. The whale poured out his fears to the shark. Don't worry, you may still be the biggest thing in the world. Wait here, I will find out if the rumours are true. The shark swam to the coast and requested a rat on the shore to measure the idol. The rat was an obliging little fellow and he went off to measure the statue. When he returned with the information, he was trembling all over. Never in his life had he seen anything as big as the idol. The base of the idol was 5,000 paces. The shark told the whale the bad news. The whale could hardly believe what he had heard. He could not sleep or rest. He decided he must see the idol for himself. Legend says that he wore magic boots and walked to the temple where the enormous idol sat though how he managed to wear the shoes, we are not told. He arrived at the temple at night, which was fortunate, as otherwise the people of the town of Kamakura would have died of fright. He knocked on the temple door and a great bell-like voice told him to enter. Pray, come out to me, said the whale. There was a sound of heavy footsteps and the immense idol came out under the stars. At first, the two enormous beings were so surprised to see each other that they could not speak. But after a while, the whale began to tell his story. A sleeping temple priest woke up and came to see who was talking. He found the idol's pedestal empty and came running out. He saw the two gigantic figures. He let out a shriek and fainted in shock. When he regained consciousness, the idol asked him to measure both of them with his rosary. The whale's heart was cracking with the strain and suspense. The priest completed measuring and announced that the whale was taller than the idol by two inches. Of course, the whale lived happily ever after. As for the idol, he did not care if he was not the biggest thing in the world. He is still calm and smiling.